as creator, Yud and the Hay uh, spells Ka or Yud Ka. Uh, I mean, we don't pronounce it because it said it is a holy name. And God creates the spiritual realm with the letter Yud. This physical world with the letter Hay is what we've been discussing um, at great length. The letter Yud is Chachma, which is the source of the the um, mm-hmm. of speech, and what part of speech? The speech that has form to it, which means the way we shape our mouths, tongue, uh, teeth, larynx, and palate in order to produce the 22 different letters of the Hebrew alphabet, or for that matter, any language. The letter He <coughs> is the source of the breath, the breath of speech that verbalizes, right? Because we have to our mouths in, in a form, but then the matter of breath needs to be part of speech. So we have both elements. So the question then is, we're speaking about this world that comes from the breath of creation. Um, well, isn't speech the last hay? Why are we referring it to the first hay in God's name? The first day in God's name is Bina's understanding. The last day is speech, Malchus. The attribute of Malchus, royalty, sovereignty, God, he um, he uh, royal king, just as a king, he uh, conducts his uh, his kingdom through speech, in other words, his speech is a command. His word is a command. So likewise, that's how God creates with his word. So why would this world that we're saying is from the letter hey be from the former hey in God's name and not the latter hey, which is, again, Malchus' speech. So the Altareb explains the reason for that. This is one second. And he explains that the reason for that is um, very uh, that the breath comes from the heart, the lungs, and via the, the via the heart, um, and the concept of heart. The concept of heart sorry, just fix something there. The concept of heart is that when you understand something, it feeds the heart. So Bina, which is the hay, meaning understanding. It then feeds the heart that therefore becomes then uh, the heart, which then uh, brings the breath to speech. Meaning to say that the source of speech is from the breath of speech, that is, is from Bina. So the faculty of Bina, which expands the divine wis- or wisdom is then um, finds its uh, what's the word I'm looking at or you know from the mind that understands it gives the heart understanding and from there issues the breath 
which is the body of the letters of speech. So therefore, when we say that God creates the world with his name, Yud, and the, and the He, and that this world is created from the He, so it means that Bina is the source of the breath. 